Hi everyone! Today we're doing Halloween costumes and these are super last minute do-it-yourself costumes that you probably already have in your closet. First one I'm doing is Avril Lavigne. That's the makeup I was going for. I really think I would have done better if I put this makeup on and slept in it. Like that's what she looks like but she totally rocks it and I look crazy. Just put black all over and tried to blend it. I was this costume last year and I was this costume all the time when I was little. It's just a pair of trousers, a white tank top, a tie, converse, and wear your hair in the middle part and straight down. Avril Lavigne is iconic. Nobody knew what I was, but I feel so good in this outfit. Costume, not outfit. a go-go girl so I tried doing this makeup that I looked up just a bright green and like really big lashes I used an elf eyeshadow that was awful but I think if you're good at makeup you could do a lot better job I wore a groovy top with the bell sleeves a little white skirt a white headband and go-go boots here I am being this costume when I was little I'm obviously not creative at all I'm just remaking my old costumes basically but they're freaking cute and white go-go boots would be better but I'm using what I have Obviously a race car driver, can't you tell me sitting in my car and driving? My brother was making fun of me for this costume, but I think it's cute. I just used my NASCAR jacket, a pair of black joggers, and black boots. They wear like a full jumpsuit normally. I don't know, I don't watch NASCAR. Kind of looks like it, I don't really know. This is my best interpretation of a NASCAR driver for someone who's never watched any kind of racing. motorcycle list biker girl this one is inspired by izzy she was biker girl last year i definitely took it in a very different way i just wore my vanson's biker jacket leather pants and leather boots any leather jacket would work though i just happen to have a motorcycle jacket that's my dad's i think this one's really cute though and i definitely just wear it normally so So, can you tell what I am? I'm a Yeezy model. Not that I really like Kanye, but I think his clothes and models are cool looking and definitely have a distinct look. So I don't have Yeezys or like the Yeezy sock boots, so I decided to make them. I just took a pair of nude socks, put them over a pair of heels, cut out a hole for the heel to pop out, and then an old trick I used in dance is take hairspray and spray the bottom so you don't slip. So for this one, all you need to do is take whatever beige clothing you have and put it on. They don't even have to be the same tone or whatever. It just works and my biker shorts are actually like girdle panty hose whatever can you tell what i am i'm holding tools i'm supposed to be a mechanic but i don't have like a wrench i put black eyeshadow on my face like i was wiping off and working hard and then my little jumpsuit just looks like a little handy girl mechanic outfit to me and then i just carried a bunch of tools and if you don't have any tools maybe this is a good excuse to like get some tools for your house or apartment or something my brother was laughing at me This one's probably my least favorite, but it's just too easy. Just put on your pajamas and your hair and rollers. You're like pajama party PJ girl. You can tell what I am, but it doesn't have a right name. I just have a little lingerie shirt and boxers. Okay, now this one, I had this outfit just in my closet, so I was like, oh my god, I can be Bella Hadid. I think you could be any of those, like, cool model girls, like, you could do Hailey Bieber, Kendall Jenner, just wear one of their iconic outfits, and it's an excuse to look freaking snatched. Yeah, I should have turned the light on a while ago. It's just an excuse to wear a cute outfit, honestly.
Next, we have a tennis mom. This isn't just a tennis player because I didn't have a tennis racket, so I decided to put on like only two designer things that I have. And I'm like a rich tennis mom going to the country club to talk to her friends instead of actually play tennis. Do you get that vibe? Do you understand what I'm saying? This is literally just because I had a tennis skirt and not a tennis racket. I think it's easy, cute. So many of us have this in our closets. And now again with the tennis skirt, I just threw on a varsity jacket. This is a Triumph Motorcycles one, but it looks like a football jacket. I'm a little cheerleader. Can't you tell? I don't really have anything to say about this. It's easy and you could definitely add a lot more accessories like little pom-poms on your shoes or a bow in your hair, but I didn't have those things. Okay, now what is she? Oh my god, she's just wearing a jumpsuit. What could she be? Oh my god, she's a Glossier employee. Can't you tell? I just have this jumpsuit and it kind of looks like the Glossier employee jumpsuit that they wear. There's our pink, but you know, if you're just lazy and don't really want to dress up, this is a great idea. Me claiming it's a great idea. It's my own idea. Oh my god. This was Brandon's idea. I'm like a 90s R&B rapper. I just put the varsity jacket on again, a pair of baggy jeans, white tank top, and a bucket hat. I love this outfit. I would wear this normally. I just feel really good in baggy clothes, so. Oh, and gold chains. And now, super easy, I'm I'm not really a skateboarder, I'm more of a poser because I can't skate. So I just put on a pair of look like Dickies, low-waisted of course, white tank top, and I'm carrying around a skateboard. Obviously, all of these can be dressed more warm, so I don't want to hear it. Okay, most iconic. I was this every year when I was little. I'm a school of rock girl, can't you tell? So I decided to put my hair in pigtails and kind of tease them up. And I have a funny story. School of Rock is my favorite movie of all time. One time I was at an Applebee's and my mom saw Zach Mooneyham. If you don't know, that's the main character. And he was sitting across from us and she was like, go ask for a picture. So I asked for a picture and then I tagged him in on Instagram. And this was my senior year of high school. And then he started hitting on me for like two years straight and I was not old enough. It was gross. So now I hate this movie, but outfit's still cute. Put on a bunch of mismatched plaid. There I am wearing it when I was little. And if I hear anything about being cold, just improvise like when you were a kid where you your mom thinks you put like a million layers on under a costume and you're really sad and you have to wear a jacket over it. Um, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> I don't really know where any of you are going anyways. Okay, next, another iconic moment from... <laughs> me being 10 years old, a Libby Lou girl. So I decided to try and do like the crazy Libby Lou hair. I just parted my hair and then went from the end of the part down to my ear, put those in three little ponytails and put the back into two space buns and then put like glitter all over my body, like really poorly. And then I just have a one shoulder black top and black boot cut leggings that kind of gives the impression of on the left me and katie in our costumes and then on the right was my hair when i got home this is so cute if you have a little headset too all the better and like a boa oh my god yeah and more early 2000s things here i'm just an early 2000s girl i was this two years ago but i wore just like a velour jumpsuit you can do so many different ways with this i have my airbrush hat on and a little baguette iconic and then i took my hair out of the two space buns but just left the crazy ponytails in i think it's really cute there's probably gonna be a lot of girls doing this this year And finally, oh my god, my mom told me to be a WAP. She didn't come up with the idea. She was just trying to be funny and said, WAP, get her off TikTok, honestly. So I was like, okay, and I just like gelled my hair to make it look wet and put cat ears on. So I'm a wet cat. Do you get it? Um, yeah, that's the whole video. I'm kind of embarrassed by this one. I hope you guys have a safe Halloween, whatever you guys decide to do. Um, I'm not going out, but I like getting in the spirit. who's ready for some throwbacks. My mom sent me a bunch of Halloween pictures because I was trying to get ideas and I decided to put them in at the end because I think it's funny. But yeah, just have a safe Halloween. Um, be smart about what you end up doing and I love you guys so much and I'll see you in a few days.
Bye.